Hi everyone, Tracy here from Paper Closet Designs and the Idea Closet and I wanted to give you a little video today of showing you how to do score lines in Cricut Design Space with one of my files and the new um, upgrade to Cricut. So all of the files that I'm going to talk about today can be found here at Paper Closet Designs. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll do, of course, is open up your Cricut Design Space, and then you need to upload that file. So we're going to go to Upload and come to this window, and you hit Upload Images. And then you can either do Browse, or if you have the window or the file already open, you can simply drag and drop. So today we are going to work on the mini coffee base, coffee cup base, and it's the snowman. So the first file that I want is this one. It's the base and it has the score lines. So I'm just going to drag it over. I can change the name. I can add tags to it if I want to. And then we're going to save it. Now this file actually comes in two pieces. So we're going to upload the second part of that file. And that is all the embellishments, the fun pieces. I'm going to click and drag, and there is our little snowman and all of our embellishments. So I'm going to go ahead and save him. And once we come to this window, you can see all the images that I've uploaded. And there's actually um, a few other ones. I've got a little penguin and the cup wrapper or cup sleeve. But for today, we're going to work on these two. So we're going to click on the mini snowman embellishment. And the little icon is right down here. And then we're going to also click on the base with the score lines. This file also comes with just a regular SVG so that the score lines are perforated and will cut. But I want to show you how to do the, um, the score lines. So we're going to insert image. And they will pop up. It's going to take a minute just because I'm recording and trying to open at the same time. So it won't it won't go this slow on your computer, at least it shouldn't. So here we go. Great. Um, now you could just leave these as they are one on top of the other, but I'm going to separate them a little bit so that you can see what we're doing. And I'm going to minimize my screen just a hair. There we go. So here is our base and I want to turn these lines into score lines. If I were to send it right now as is to cut, two things would happen. One, it's going to cut these lines and second, they're not attached to anything so it's actually just going to cut them on a separate piece of paper. So the first thing we need to do is ungroup them. I'm just going to click on ungroup. And now there is each of the images. If I click on this base piece, it highlights up here. It says mini coffee base snowman. Right here on this little icon is my lines. So I'm going to click on it to select them. And you used to change it up here, but now with this new upgrade, I can come right over to the left-hand side of my screen. It says line type. I'm going to hit my drop-down menu, and I'm going to hit score. Then I want to come back up here and select the group. So it's got the base and the, or excuse me, the base and the score lines, and I'm going to attach it. And I'm going to do that for each of these individual pieces. So right here is the base that it sits in. I'm going to click on my cut line again. Come down here. We're going to score them. And you'll see that they have the perforations. And then I'm going to hit that group and attach. This piece right here is the optional gift card holder that can go on the front or the back of your base, or you can delete it. If you were going to delete it, you would just simply hit the X. Um, but for ours, we're going to cut it out. So I'm going to, one more time, come over and click on my cut line. One more time, line type, line type and score. 
Now I want my gift card holder, my gift card pocket to be a different color than the base. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the image piece and I'm going to change the fill color. Whoops, sorry, I have to ungroup this one because I'm doing it. Sorry, I'm going to ungroup it. Now I'm going to select that, that piece. Whoops. Just come over here and find it. Things always jumping around when I'm recording. Okay, so now line type, I'm still going to cut it, but I want to change the fill color because I want to cut it out of the um, blue or the pattern paper that I'm going to use for my embellishments. So I'm going to click on that little um, swatch and I'm going to choose the blue. And now my little pocket for my gift card is going to cut out of the same paper that I use for my embellishments. But because I did that, I now need to select both of those and group them again. And then attach. Come on, it's thinking, it's thinking, and then attach. All right, now everything should be ready to cut. So I'm going to come over here to my Make It. And it's going to sort it into the prop, into the mats by color. This is one of the things that I absolutely love about the Cricut is you don't have to slide things on and off your mat. It just automatically sorts them. But we change the color first in order to do that. So now we know that we have five mats. We have the white mat with our snowman face and our, um, our snowflake and his little paws. The black mat has the background to our snowman and his hat. The blue mat now has my pocket and the embellishments and the hat band. So I could cut this out of um, pattern paper if I wanted to, or I can just cut it out of solid um, blue paper. It also has the score lines, so when I send it, or uh, when I hit continue to cut it, it will know that it's going to score the lines first and then cut it out. The same with the base. It will score those lines and then cut it. And then the last one is my little hearts and the tag or the piece that goes on the back. So at that point, I can hit continue and um, set up to my machine and get everything cut out. I hope you've enjoyed this little um, video of how to cut my images. Like I said, all of my images can be purchased here at Paper Closet Designs. Um, you can also find more information on my blog. It's www.ideacloset.blogspot.com. And there's tutorials and more projects listed there as well. Hope you have a great day and thanks for joining me.